My name is Chris. I was a 13 Romeo, which is a field artillery fire finder radar operator. I served in Iraq from 05 to 06. What are My job is in? I was in Bakupa. Okay. When we receive intel on a target, it's because someone shot at us. And we have a maximum of eight seconds to collect and send off the data to both the artillery and to the FEC before the time expires of being able to effecti effectively neutralize the target. Okay, tell me how, how you received your injuries. I received my injury by reacting to a mortar barrage one night. Um, but I sustained my injury by reacting and moving hastily to gather and relay the data in the appropriate amount of time. So you don't remember what happened? You just you got a concussion and all within the blink of an eye, I ran in. I uh, do remember getting hit on the way up, mm -hmm. on the way in. Okay. okay. Tell me how many treatments uh, you're into now, and uh, you're about three fourths of the way through this, or? Yeah, I'm almost done. You're almost done. Did, uh, did you have any problems getting into the chambers? Um. No, I can't can't say that I did. Yeah. They weren't claustrophobic or anything like that. If uh, if you have a phobia of tight spaces, I do not recommend this. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty confined. The especially the ones you lay down in. Yeah. Yeah. The concussion what made time? you uh, uh, gave you forgetfulness and. Or, yeah, my short-term memory lobe was damaged during uh, uh -huh. after the. Uh, occurrence of TBI. Yeah. So now, how do you feel now that you're almost done? I feel a lot better. Yeah. I really do. I feel like uh, I was. I'm able to remember a lot more. Uh huh. I can remember what I did yesterday and the day before. I can remember. I mean, before I got this treatment, it was quite hard for me to remember. Yeah. Especially after my initial TBI. Yeah. Uh, after that, I I couldn't remember what I had done ten minutes ago. Uh huh. And I required a lot of uh, reminders from people around me. Yeah. You're right. The now this treatment here, it's it's pretty painless. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, you, what do you come, twice a day or...? Yeah, I uh, come twice a day. Twice a day. Uh, there's not really any pain involved in the... Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. To, if you don't have any problems getting in and out of the chambers or...? No. Yeah. Just make sure to pop your ears. <laughs> pop your ears, that's right, that's right. it's I, pressurized. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> they take you under to the equivalent of uh, 19 feet of water. Right. Which is 7 PSI. Uh-huh. And after that, they start. Uh, they start sending pure oxygen through to uh, inside a mask, mm -hmm. a hood, mm -hmm. and it's. If you don't even think about it, it's it's really nice. I mean, you yeah. just. But you do feel a lot better. You get. How about sleep? I've been getting a lot better sleep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hello, my name's Brian Gleba, uh, former captain, army captain, retired uh, medically 2009. Uh, I did two tours in Iraq, um, grew up in Ohio, spent most of my time in uh, Texas. Uh, uh, my last tour was with the uh, 2 8th Cache, and um, I was injured in Iraq. Uh, by, by a, uh, an IED, uh, which broke my neck, uh, kind of ripped my shoulder out, and um, 
gave me a traumatic brain injury, so that also uh, destroyed my pituitary and thyroid glands, so I don't produce hormones like the average person. So that's been uh, a daunting task for me. But um, I've been through maybe 15 treatments with the hyperbaric chamber oxygen therapy uh, now, and uh, I've noticed from going from headaches ranging from three to tens um, now to ten hardly, being the worst. Ten being the worst, yes. Yeah. And um, now to not having no headaches to maybe. I'm sorry. To uh, having, you know, one recently, but it was under a lot of stress and lack of sleep. Um, and that was maybe a three. So. How about sleep? Sleep, um, I went from not sleeping hardly at all and having lots of sleep issues uh, mm -hmm. to sleeping like a baby now. Yeah. So um, I, sleep has come very easily lately. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, I've also noticed that I've gone from being single task minded where I only focused at one thing at a time and um, I lived and breathed by the GPS, I couldn't. I couldn't pull out a, a parking lot without a GPS. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know where to go. So now I'm multitasking um, yeah. and getting into more multiple events and, and uh, your hyper vigilance has gone down to vigilance now. Yes, right. yes, pretty much. <laughs> and um, yeah, I can't thank these guys enough for what they're doing. It's just it's been dramatic changes, and I'm hoping to get my memory back. My goal is to be able to not use GPS yeah. uh, to get to point A and B and be able to multitask enough where I can use my phone and calendar my phone like a, a normal businessman yeah. would be able to. Yeah.